Does it get hot in Bakersfield? Mm, yes, but it does get cold too. Stay tuned, I'll tell you how it all works. I'm Angel with Bakersfield Real Estate Group and Agent Core Realty, your Bakersfield expert, your local realtor. And here's the thing, everybody always asks about Bakersfield. Here's the question most people ask about Bakersfield. Does it get hot there? Yep, it sure does, but it does get cold. Look, today I have long sleeves on. I don't know if you can see behind me, it's breezy, it's chilly, it's, you know, low uh, 60s which is chilly for those of us in California, but it doesn't get humid here. If we get humidity, it's maybe a day or two, and it's not like the humid season. It's just a day or two, maybe after a rain, or if we have a summer rain, or if a tropical storm is passing by, but generally it's not humid. So here's how it lays out. We do have four seasons. They're just a little bit different than what looks like Aww. in the books that you might read. We generally have a few days of a freeze, which is good because this is an agricultural area. So that helps set the sugars for a lot of the fruits. Anybody in ag will tell you that that's always very important for setting the sugar on like the grapes and the pears and the tangerines and the oranges. It's just what happens when you live here in a, in a community that is very big in ag. So I know that in January, February, we always have days of a freeze. Like we get way down into the 30s, high 20s. And so that is the temperature overnight. Then we have regular seasonal rain. Sometimes we have more, sometimes we have less. And then through the spring, we'll have like from spring, beginning of spring in March through June, it's up and down. We have hot days, we have cold days, but we are also still cooling down in early May. It does still kind of cool down at night. Then in maybe middle of June is when it really starts to tick up in the temperature. You'll, you can be swimming all day on Father's Day, which is really, really normal. And Father's Day is what? Usually the second weekend of June, second or third weekend of June. So you're grilling and playing by the pool most of the whole day on Father's Day. Then going all the way through summer, we have the hot days, July 4th and all the way through July. July and August are where we have multiple days in a row of triple digit heat. Again, no humidity, just hot. And it's not really cooling down much in those windows of time either. We might cool down to the 90s. We might cool down to the 80s, but it's not cooling off too much. But there's hope. September is coming. <laughs> so in September, right about, you know, maybe the 15th, 20th, right in that window, the temperature at night starts to drop down again. So yes, we're still getting into the 90s, high 90s, and you know, by one or two o'clock, you're running the air conditioning again. But then it drops and you have a nice cool evening. You go for a nice evening walk, you're good. The breeze picks up. Then October, you know, it's kind of, a, we're into the fall now, so it's a little hit or miss. Sometimes we have really hot days. We do have that variety again in the fall. And it always rains by Halloween. We always have at least one day of rain, usually more but at least one day of rain before Halloween. Then in November, temperatures are dropping, it's still really warm during the day, you know, high 70s, low 80s, but it's just, it's a fall day. You know, people are still getting their pumpkin spice lattes, whatever, um, and it doesn't make sense if it's 80 degrees, you're thinking, what do you want a, a hot coffee for? It's 80 degrees, but they're doing it. So, you know, God love them. And then, you know, of course by Christmas, you know, it's all cold and exactly as you want it to be for Christmas, you know, it's, you want to bundle up and wear your red sweater and everybody wears the scarves and the leather coats and you go to the snow and, you know, on your off days when you're on vacation. So uh, we definitely, definitely have a wintry Christmas season. If that is something you're looking for and you're like, it's hot here, wherever you live, uh, at Christmas and I want it to be cool. Bakersfield's a place because it definitely gets cold and wintry around here. Then come first of the year, you know, you're putting away your Christmas stuff and you're, you know, you're getting ready to go back to school and it's chilly. You're wearing leggings to school and you're wearing long sleeves and sweatshirts. It's winter and it's raining and it's cold. And depending on even if you're getting rain or if it's just a cold day, you're definitely feeling that you're not in summer. <laughs> And February is like the question mark month because there's been Februarys where you're like 
in it's in the 80s. I don't know what it is about February. February is the big question mark month. You can be warm on Valentine's Day and then it can be raining 10 days later and you're thinking, what what just happened? But then come March again, look at it, it's March right now and I'm wearing long sleeves and it's getting ready to rain right now. Um, so March, February and March are like <laughs> We definitely have four seasons. So if you have a house with a pool, it will definitely get used in the summer months. If you have a house with a pool and jacuzzi, you get to be wet all year long, whether you're in the jacuzzi or the pool, you will get use out of both of those all year long. And if you're wondering like, what are things to do in the weather when it's not scorching hot around here, I went on a hike over to Wind Wolves. I've gone out to Hart Park. There's a lot of things you can do with our weather because it's a very outdoor friendly kind of lifestyle here in town. So. If you are curious, make sure you reach out, leave me a comment, share this with somebody that might be asking, and I will see you next Wednesday.